Okay, recently I promised I'm gonna show you my electrical system. How does everything work? Well, let's start from the water wheel. Water wheel, it's made from aluminum. I need to make it bigger, I need to make it stronger. Because right now we don't get any electricity what we need to have. This electricity, what we have now, is just enough for uh, simple things like uh, charging our phones, having internet, tablets, lights. That's more important, the lights. Because we're using a dynamo or dynamo, however you call it. This is a custom made wheel with a shaft, and this is a drive shaft from a Russian SUV, Lada Niva. And this is the transmission from Lada Niva. Right now, we are in a fourth gear running the system. Why having transmission? Because uh, in a case, if I need to work on my system, I can just turn it off right here and I'll go further out. Let me show you inside here. As I said before, we're running on a dynamo right now because the alternator, car alternator, don't have enough RPMs to run a to run the system. What we have here it's a dynamo. It's running on a it's running hot, which is normal. And this one is in a 1400, 300 to 1400 RPMs. I don't know from which brand it is and whatever it is. But this is all system what is producing our electricity right now. The wheel is turning, the shaft is moving and going through transmission. When we can use as a transfer case, we need more RPMs or lower RPMs. This is another transfer case. What is making one turn to three turns. Look moving very slow, right? But believe me, they're working very well. We use enough power what we need for now. One day, probably this spring, we will have alternator here and more RPM so we can produce more. Right now we're getting 14 volts on this one, but the problem with this one, it is only 16 amps. My alternator, what I plan to have, it's 120 amps. So we'll charge these batteries much quicker. So right now we're using it, three batteries of 100 amps per hour. Probably can show you. Yeah, 12 volts, 100 amps per hour. And we have an inverter of 1500 watts. It's plenty for us. For a fridge, for a vacuum cleaner, for lights, for everything what we need. Literally, we don't need for much more. We can use all of that right now, but the battery just cannot make it to be charged quick enough with this system. With alternator, yes. I definitely made sure we have a good heavy, heavy duty cables so you can control all this electricity and not get it heated up. Everything is set it up so they can work perfectly in a very quiet mode. A lot of people who know this system ask me why I didn't put a bigger system than 1500 watts. Well, for every thousand watts, you need to have a two batteries. So that's the problem. If I'm going to invest two thousand, three thousand dollars more than I already have, it's really not worth it. And really don't need much electricity. That's, that's another thing. So if I have a 2,000 watt system, I need to have four batteries. If you have a 3,000 system, you have to have six batteries. It's a, just a common mat, which you need to know before you install something like this. Here, everything goes through this cable here, you know, this big control panel. This control panel have a very sensitive switch. If something goes wrong, it will pop out first. And everything going out, to this cable right here under our cabin and I will show where they're going inside the house the whole system going from under under the balcony coming out here and going right here inside our house but right now this system is working perfectly for us 
this coming spring, I will build a bigger wheel. We'll have a more RPMs alternator. We alternator will be replacing this thing, which this thing is really working really well. I'm actually surprised. This is over a month now that keeps spinning and just making what we need. So alternator will replace this thing. We'll have a much more speed. We'll have a much more quicker charge in the batteries, and we can use much more heavy duty stuff. Our water heater is in propane, our stove is in propane, and we are having heat in the propane. We even didn't plan to have anything else heavy duty in the house. But I have to say, the small system or not, big or small system, it doesn't matter. When you make it by yourself, it's a very rewarding feeling when you walk inside the house and you turn the light switch on and light come on. That's upsell. Also, there is no power bill. There is absolutely no maintenance from the government. How good is that? Also, is a bad. If something goes wrong in your system, in your house, you call an electrician. I have to do it by myself. If something going wrong with the power line, whatever the government provides, you call the government. Here, I have to do it by myself. So you have to have a certain knowledge about this. You're not just collecting two wires and you just blow up the fuse or burn the house down. Don't play with electricity if you don't know how to do it. Just my suggestion. I have to say I'm very proud of this system and how long it took me to make it everything work. But it's amazing how much you actually can accomplish by yourself. And being off grid, it's so really amazing sitting home and knowing that the bills will just not come in. Only what we have to pay for it is internet and my phone bill which we're relieved now, it's only three bucks a month for phone bill. I don't use it much anyway, so we really don't need some unlimited stuff. This is a transmission, what we're talking about. This is all what they're coming there in a transfer case. Super simple, super efficient, amazing. Yes, I forget to say about the batteries. When you have a batteries outside, even if you build a little house, housing for all of this, which I will do, as I said, in the spring. You have to isolate the batteries. I just put a little star foam around and keep it from an extreme temperature of heat or cold. Really help. Really help a lot. Yes, I forgot to say, I have some outlets here, if I need to use it to plug something, if I need to use a power tool on this system. Whatever I'm going to build this, I'm going to use a drilling to connect the wood for this system so I can make a little housing to protect from everything outside. It doesn't look spin fast, right? Right now we are in about 13, 1300 RPMs. The problem is, the problem is alternator is that magnetic brake, whatever the crank in, whatever they wake up, it's slowing down the system so much. So the wheel have to be much bigger. So they can don't, and have much more propellers. So they're, not, they're not gonna lose any momentum. Without the dynamo alternator, my system running about 3,500 RPMs. You have enough water, you just don't have enough propellers, and the wheel is not big, big enough. So this is my biggest conclusion. And yes, every once in a while you have to come in and oil the system and check everything, but overall it's really sufficient. It's really nothing going wrong with this. Thank you, dear Lord. Well, that will be enough for our electrical system. I will show you inside. I run the three phases in our cabin. So if you're done using a certain outlets, if you're running low with electricity, I can always turn off some fuses in the house. I wish you all best. Please share if you're doing something similar. I would like to know. We always can learn from each other. Subscribe if you like this video. Checking out.